Hello and welcome to this tutorial teaching you how to make a loop in the Little Man computer. Now we start off by just taking an input from the user which you've seen in previous tutorials and we use the STA command to store that number in a variable we've called num. Now the next thing, this is the new part you haven't seen yet before, we make a new special kind of variable called loop begin Again, you can name this differently as long as it's all one word. It could be start loop or you know loop top. You can use different words, but just has to be one word. And now we're subtracting the value of the variable one. Now you can see down here the variable one actually includes the number one. So it stores the number one. So one will be taken off whatever number is entered in and stored here. We then store the result, so for example if we'd entered 5, we subtract 1, it would then become 4. That gets overwritten to the original value, so it now becomes 4. We then load up back onto the accumulator the contents of the variable num, which in this case is 4 now. We output it to the screen. BRZ, this will branch if the value on the accumulator is 0, and as it's 4, this will get ignored. We then come down to BRA, which means branch always, and it will branch to where we've declared this variable loop begin, which is up here. So the code will come back to here. One is subtracted off the current value on the accumulator, which is still the variable num, so it goes down to three. That gets stored. We load up the number three again, output. We check if the value on the accumulator is zero. It's not, so we go back up, BRA, branch always, back up. The code runs through again with a value of 2, then 1, and then finally, in the final loop, if we come down, the value is now 0. So the branch, when 0 command gets executed, it jumps to the placeholder called end, which is here, and then the code halts. And that's it. So let's see it in action. Okay, so we're in mailbox zero here. You can see it's highlighted in red and it's just waiting for an input. So if we put five in, you can see that happened very rapidly, but you can see it works just as I've outlined. You start with a value of four because we've subtracted one from five. We go around the loop. The value on the accumulator at this point isn't zero, it's four. So we go back up to the top, subtract another one, as you can see the values become three where we output it here it's still not zero so this one is not activated we activate the branch always again go back up to the top two one then finally zero that's when this command is activated because it's branch if the value is zero it is so we come down to end and the program halts so you've now created a loop which you can get running as many times as you want. So if we ended in six here, the loop would go through six times, seven it would go through seven times. So you've got quite a handy user controlled loop which you can run as many times as you decide. Well I hope you found that helpful and we'll do more next time. Bye for now.